Gunnery.dk Livstilsmagasin for mænd. I'm Daniel Browning Smith, and my journey has brought me to New York City to meet Tim Cridlin. <laughs> a man with a seemingly pain-proof body. I'm taking him to meet pain expert Dr. Josh Hans to find out if his powers are really superhuman. So exactly what test are you going to do? The test we're going to do is called algometry. And, and, and to make it simple, it's, it measures uh, sensitivity or pounds per square inch of pressure. The average pressure a human can withstand from the algometer pushing down in this area is between 80 and 110 pounds. So if Tim can reach a score in the 200 to 300 range, it will be incredible. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, sorry. Yeah. All right, so this, this should be the most sensitive spot. We're going to be directly on what we call a spinous process. The point of the spine is sticking out and we're going to be putting pressure directly in. And this is supposedly the sensitive area. So let's, <laughs> let's, see what, let's see what happens. 100 PSI. 150 PSI. Whoa, 200 PSI. 250 PSI. 300, 400. Wow, this is unbelievable. 500. He is literally off the charts. Yeah, no kidding. 600. I may need some help pushing this thing down. <laughs> 700. This is unbelievable. What does that say? 781. Uh, it doesn't un even Unbelievable. Anymore. I can't push any harder. Amazing. His body is, is responding to the pressure. You can see the red. But neurologically, his pain receptors are, must be used to the sensitivity. So let me well, save this. All right, you guys. <laughs> because this is, this is one amazing thing. Astonishingly, even with a hard narrow point pressing directly on this highly sensitive part of the spine, Tim is able to withstand the weight of over four grown men. And Tim claims this incredible ability to block out pain is all due to the power of his mind. The autonomic nervous system is thought impossible to override. But is this the superhuman reason why Tim feels no pain and his body doesn't bleed? If he could control his body's biological reflexes as he pushes a skewer through his arm, it should prove he really has the power of mind over matter. So on a normal human being, what would be going on in their body right now? Your heart rate would be racing, your blood pressure would be increased, you'd probably be sweating profusely. and. <laughs> With this skewer impelled through their arm, any normal person would react to the pain and begin to panic. This should trigger the autonomic nervous system to switch on the fight-or-flight response in an effort to protect itself. But how has Tim's body been affected? That's un unbelievable. <laughs> that, that looks... That's unbelievable. Almost the same. Looks like it hasn't even moved. No. It doesn't look like it's moved. Amazingly, Tim is able to block out the pain, and his body has not reacted to the skewer in his arm. Tim is able to access and override the instinctive biological system that controls our response to pain, and this is truly superhuman. Imagine if we could all learn Tim's incredible techniques. Could we one day put an end to chronic pain without the use of drugs or medical intervention? If I were to stick a skewer in anybody's arm out there on the street today, their body would perceive pain. There's, there's no doubt about it. Pain is, is a necessary gift that we have. You know, it lets us know that something is wrong in the body. So the way you're, you control your body's neurology is very fascinating. I think you have a lot to offer to the science community. I think it's completely amazing.